Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Lucy, welcome. And I am ferociously ripping at this box um, because blood sugar, no, it's not blood sugar. Blue blood has arrived. So I am trying to get into it. Usually I very patiently open all of my boxes. I do a little thumbnail and then I'm on it. But today, I'm gonna to have to do the thumbnail at the end. So let's hope Blue Blood is not um, damaged when I open it. So it comes in bubble wrap. The box is absolutely stunning. Let's open it up. <coughs> Now I'm a little bit worried because the box was broken and there was like glitter. My box is like completely dirty. Right, let's open it up. We've got the clasp there. What I like about the clasp as well is that I don't think you can see it. Yeah, just there's like a Jeffree Star. Um, now the um, blood sugar palette is notoriously hard to open, but you don't get, oh, okay. You don't get that with this. It's fine. My palette is not damaged at all. So I'm, I'm, I was just a little bit worried that I don't know if you could tell by the change in my voice. So let's get into it. So the palette was £46, I believe. You get 18 shades. Um, so this is like the big sister of um, Blood Sugar. I will just get my Blood Sugar palette out so we can just compare the two because um just for the fun of it so the blood sugar is like a faux leather case and it's very square very sort of medical it's got two clasps um 18 shades again i think it was the same price as the blue blood um so they're this oh as you can see blood sugar is a tiny bit taller um, but height wise blue blood is there so this is supposed to look like a casket um, American sort of casket type situation jewelry box um, whatever you want it to look like really um, I'm, I'm it's the same formula as blood sugar blood sugar was Jeffree Star's like top selling um, palette ever it just sells out and sells out and sells out and I'm sure blue blood will be exactly the same so it's only got one class whereas um, blood sugar has got two blood sugar is sort of a red theme um, palette and this is obviously a blue themed palette you do have a couple of greens in there as well um, yeah so should we get to swatching I think we shall I'm just going to make some room and then I'll be right back. Okay, one thing I forgot to mention was it does come with a mirror. Um, there is no protective thing for the mirror. Usually Jeffrey has like a protective, I'll just put my fingers all over it. Um, there is usually like a protective film over it, but there isn't for this one. Um, I'm not... I'm not bothered if there is a mirror in my palette or not. I know for Jeffree Star, he likes to sort of accommodate to everyone and some people like to travel with their palettes. There's usually a mirror in my hotel. I don't camp. I'm not, I'm not, I don't like to sleep in a tent where there's no electricity. So, um, yeah. So I'm just gonna get some wipes and then we'll do some swatches. Now guys, I've been thinking lately, do you just appreciate the finger swatches or would you prefer brush swatches? Um, I know for me, I prefer brush swatches, like to watch, um, because finger swatches, like, I didn't pay 50 quid for a brush jet just to use my fingers. So um, let me know. If you want brush swatches, I will do you brush swatches. I am not bothered, but yeah so i'm just gonna go from the top row to the bottom row um so i'll just sorry just pick them up again we'll just um have a look at the palettes the the eyeshadows as you can see most of them have got the jeffree star um 
logo printed in them but this one has a diamond this one has a money bag deceased is that a deceased no it's undertaker undertaker has like coffin with the jeffree star thing in it and then you've got a pair of lips at the top and like i say oh and then we've got a crown here and like a cloud there for blue blue monday blue monday i love that song if you haven't heard it you need to check it out so um yeah we're just gonna go through top row and then they feel incredibly soft they feel like absolute butter so that could be like a highlighter shade definitely definitely a highlighter shade he does put highlighter shades in all of his palettes i've noticed right so those are the shittiest swatches ever i not that he ever will watch this but jeffrey i apologize for that that was awful right That one is very close to my skin tone. There we go, that's better. I wasn't digging in deep enough. These shades are absolutely stunning. Um, they're a little bit out of my comfort zone. I don't really use blue eyeshadows, like, because I've got sort of greeny, hazily eyes. I don't really tend to go for, like, those sort of colours. I tend to go for like the um like the rose golds um and things like that. So so um we'll just go here now. Wow that's pretty The um, sort of brownie naturally mattes are very um, sort of close to my skin tone, which is why they don't seem to be showing up very well on camera. Very close to my skin tone, which is a good thing for me. Not very good for you if you can't see the swatches. Right, I'm going to leave Ocean Ice till the end because that looks like... A press glitter I don't think it is but it does look very like press glittery so this is the last two this is cremated and undertaker um undertaker is that one it looks gorgeous we'll just whoa brilliant right and the last one is ocean ice which is that blue at the bottom just looks very like pressed glitter. I don't think it is, but it looks very shiny. Yeah, it feels a bit grainy like a glitter, so. Okay, it's not, it's not at all. When you sort of spread it out a bit in the sun, it's gorgeous but it's not a press glitter it just it feels a bit grainy in the in the pan but once it's smoothed out i think that's a case of like a little goes a long way there are all of the swatches like i say some of them you can't see on camera very well because they're very close to my skin tone 
um, but I'm very excited. I just wanted to come on and do a quick swatch and a quick chat with you about it and I will use them, use this palette in a video quite soon. Um, I am not doing anything today other than working. Um, so yeah, let's take them off, see how they stain my arm, if they stain my arm at all. <laughs> And um, yeah, there we go. Blue blood arm now. I was just very excited. I got my mum, I ordered my mum a um, Christmas cookie lipstick for Mother's Day and it should be coming today. I know it's late, it's Tuesday, but I forgot to order it early enough. And um, obviously with blue blood coming out, then the orders are going to be late anyway. So I'm waiting on my phone to ring to see what she thinks of it. I looked over there, my phone's right here. I record on my phone. Um, I'm waiting to see what she thinks of it. Um, hopefully she likes it. I don't think she's ever had a liquid lipstick before. So like I say, I'm very excited. Um, so the swatches, there hasn't been a lot of fallout, but I have ruined all of my indents on my all of the stamps so um yeah so that's good um i don't know where i'm gonna store this one i am running out it is quite chunky i am running out of space on my beauty desk on my vanity because um as you know um i decluttered a lot of my stuff and then i bought quite a bit of stuff and I sort of spilled it out over onto my vanity. Some of the palettes, like my Alien palette, are too pretty to be in a drawer anyway. I know people moaned because of the eyes and said, it's massive, it's bulky, how am I gonna do it? And my argument was, why would you want to keep that in a drawer? So I've kept out quite a lot of the pretty palettes, but palettes are getting just prettier and prettier all the time. So I think I'm gonna have to, um, have a rethink about how I'm storing my palettes. Let me know guys how you store your palettes. Um, I might just have a little rejig of my beauty desk. It's a mess at the moment anyway. Um, I need some more drawers I think but I don't know where I'm gonna put them. <laughs> As ever guys thanks for hanging out with me today. Um, let me know down below if you've got blue blood um, and what you think of it and um, I will definitely be trying this later on in the week um, so that you can see what my sort of first impressions are. If it's the same formula as all of his other ones then it's going to be fine. Um, yeah, but I'm excited to see what look I, I create with it. Um, yeah, as ever guys, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon for another video. Bye.